Hello and welcome to Siemens Steam Turbine Facility located here in Burlington, Iowa. Here at the facility, quality steam turbines are manufactured and tested and then shipped to all parts of the world. The Siemens facility is certified to ISO 9001 quality, ISO 14001 environmental, and OSHA's 18001 health and safety standards. This video you're about to watch contains the information you need to know to ensure your safety during your time in our facility. Please give your undivided attention during this video and ask your site contact if you have any questions following the video. Siemens is dedicated to fostering a zero harm culture which is comprised of three main principles. Zero incidents, it is achievable, health and safety, no compromises, and we take care of each other. These three principles work together to provide a safe, efficient working environment for all employees and visitors and allow everyone to return home safe and healthy to their family and friends. It is crucial that you sign in and out of the facility each and every time you arrive or leave the facility, even if it is just for a short time. This is to ensure an accurate head count in the event of an emergency. The logbook is located at the front desk with the receptionist. You will be issued a visitor tag or lanyard upon signing in. Make sure this is visible at all times during your time here. If you are a Siemens employee from another facility, please make sure to display your Siemens badge at all times. Tobacco use is prohibited on Siemens property or Siemens owned vehicles. This includes cigarettes and smokeless tobacco. Alcoholic beverages and illegal drugs are strictly forbidden on Siemens property. Cell phone usage is not allowed on the production floor without management or HSC permission. Phones may not be used while walking. No photographic equipment is permitted without the approval of the Siemens employee responsible for the project. There are also no weapons allowed on any part of Siemens property. Before entering the shop area, it is important that you have the proper personal protective equipment or PPE. General PPE for the shop includes safety glasses with side shields, safety toed footwear, and gloves are required anytime you are handling materials. If you will not be leaving the designated gray walkways within the shop, then safety toed footwear are not to be required. Here are some items that should not be worn outside the designated gray aisle walkways. Rings, bracelets, wristwatches, wallets with chains attached to belts, dangling earrings or dangling necklaces, loose or baggy clothing, dangling strings, wide flared pants, dresses or skirts, full or flared sleeves on shirts or blouses, neckties, scarves, shirts or sweatshirts with hoods, shorts or blazers, or coats that are not buttoned. Never attempt to raise or distract any machine operator if they are operating their machines. Any incident, property damage, near miss, unsafe act, or condition of injury, regardless of severity, must be reported to your Siemens contact immediately. First aid kits are located just across from the shop cafeteria and also one in the office area. There is an AED located just to the right of the shop entrance from the manufacturing office. And there is a designated first aid response team for the facility. In the event of an emergency situation arising, notify the nearest Siemens employee or call zero from any plant phone which will ring to the front desk. In the event that an emergency situation arises requiring action from you, an audible plant alarm will sound followed by voice instructions of what actions are needed. In the event of a severe weather event requiring action, the plant alarm will be sounded and communicated verbally via PA system. Employees and visitors shall then calmly proceed to the nearest severe weather shelter. The designated severe weather shelters within the facility are men's and women's locker rooms on the north side of the facility, the training room, and the test floor offices and restroom. In the event of a fire, the emergency director will make a determination if evacuation of personnel is warranted and, if so, which areas need to be. The fire alarm will be sounded and any action needed by personnel or visitors will be delivered via plant PA system. If evacuation is directed, employees and visitors will exit the building through the nearest marked emergency exit, report to their nearest assembly point, and remain for head count. There are a number of overhead cranes used within the facility on a regular basis. The three main types of cranes are bridge, jib, and gantry. Bridge and gantry cranes have audible or visual warning lights anytime they are being moved. Special caution must be used at all times. Never place yourself beneath a suspended load and never distract any part of a lift team during an active lift. There is a large amount of forklift traffic in all areas of manufacturing. Always stay clear of their path. 
Make eye contact with the operator and allow them to wave you through, should you need to cross paths. There may be instances where a Siemens employee or contractor applies a lock and tag to a piece of equipment to render the machine or system in a zero energy state and safe to perform maintenance on. This is known as a lockout tagout. Never tamper with or attempt to operate any piece of equipment that is locked out. There are a few spaces within the facility which meet the definition of being a confined space. These areas are clearly marked as being confined spaces and should an active entry be taking place, the area will be cordoned off appropriately. Only trained personnel are permitted to make entry into confined spaces. There are several areas in the facility which are designated for what is known as hot work. A common example of hot work is welding. These hot work areas have measures in place to protect you from looking directly at welding light. However, caution must be taken when you are around these areas as it is still possible to inadvertently view welding operations in some of these areas. Safety data sheets or SDSs for chemicals at the facility are stored electronically. Ask your Siemens contact or Siemens employee should you need to access these. Thank you for viewing this video. We at Siemens hope you found it informative and feel that it gave you the information needed to ensure your safety during your time at our facility. If you have any further questions or would like more information, please ask your Siemens contact.